What's going on YouTube? This is Mike from Relentless Toots. I've had another channel for quite a while here on YouTube. It's called Relentless Creation. You can go ahead and check it out. Essentially what I do is I make music videos for artists here in the Delaware region. And I've been using tutorials off of YouTube for quite a while to learn After Effects. So I feel as though I should give back to the community, if you will. And so here we go uh, this first tutorial is actually going to be a simple masking tutorial using some rotoscoping and such so uh, let's just get into it this will be the original footage that we're going to use and this will be the the end result right here. so anyway uh, let's just get right into it Okay, first things first, we're going to duplicate our footage, so click on your footage and go Control D, and after you duplicate it, double click the top layer, this will open up your layer panel, and this is where we're going to do all our roto brush work, or rotoscoping, and uh, so we're going to click the roto brush button, it's right up here, and after that you're gonna have to always always make sure you're in full resolution when you're doing roto brush work so to do that go view resolution and full okay now that we're do through that I'm sure many of you haven't used roto brush before so let me give you a little insight on how to do this uh, you're gonna wanna hold control down and move your mouse to change the brush size and also you're going to use alt key to deselect uh, things you're not going to be actually rotoscoping uh, if you don't know what rotoscoping is it's actually an animation technique where you work frame by frame tracing over subjects within the frames and this is really good for any really whatever frame by frame effects you want to be applying if you want to select uh, parts of a video to apply them to this is basically the tool you want to use so uh, yeah let's just start we're gonna start selecting this first frame to get a good result when you're using the roto brush patience is key uh, always zoom in on the, what you're working on to ensure you're getting all the points perfectly and furthermore use the hand tool you can actually just hold H and that will allow you to navigate across the picture when you're zoomed in. Once you have a frame that's rotobrushed to your liking, you're going to want to go to the next frame. And to do that, you simply use the page keys. Uh, page up will go to the previous frame. Page down will go to the next frame. Yeah, so uh, what I'm basically going to do here is I'm just going to do maybe a second and a half of frames. And uh, I'm going to speed this up for you guys and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back, and I did about a second and a half of frames here. I'll scrub through them. My computer's a little slow, but anyway. We're going to go back to our composition here. First thing we're going to do is the layer that we wrote a brush. We're going to rename it. We'll call it Talent. And here we can actually turn the background off so you can kind of see what we're working with. We'll rename this background real quick. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Roto Brush Effects panel, refine the matte, so click that checkbox, and then we're going to change the smooth factor. I believe default it's 2, but we're going to change it to 5 here. Uh, what that's going to do is just uh, smooth out the edges in each frame. And now we're just going to do a RAM preview. And before we even play that back, let's just save this file. And, uh, the next step in this effect is actually going to be a strobe background. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our background and we're going to rename this strobe. The next thing we need to do is get all our layers in order. Essentially we can only have one background layer going at the same time. Therefore uh, we need to cut each layer where necessary and uh, edit the timeline so the easy way to do this is you go up to a certain point in the timeline on the background layer for instance when it switches to the strobe background and you would hold control shift and D 
to actually slice and create a new layer from that point further try it out see what I mean but unfortunately I can't show this to you guys because my screen capture software is actually holding my D button captive for some reason so I can't even use my con my D button right now in After Effects so here we go you can see the timeline is now in order only one background layer is playing at a time you can see the original background and then the strobe background kicks on and then the original background c returns so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate the strobe background to make it a strobe background so we're gonna bring up the opacity using T and we're gonna click the stopwatch to animate the first keyframe and from there we're just gonna keep going frame by frame we're gonna change the opacity from 100 to 0, 100 to 0 alternating back and forth and the quickest way to do this is to do maybe 8 or 10 keyframes and simply copy and paste them over and over again until your second and a half or whatever of footage is full Since we're not rotoscoping anymore, we can go ahead and change the resolution back to quarter. And what this is going to allow us to do is actually work more quickly and also do RAM previews more quickly. Now the effect looks pretty cool as is with just the strobing background, but I'm going to take it a little step further real quick for you guys. You guys can watch what I do here, but basically I'm, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to create a simple rectangular mask and I'm going to animate the shape of that mask across the timeline for the second and a half that we want the effect to be taking place. And that will essentially be the cherry on top. So uh, here, let's take a look real quick at the final result. And thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. Uh, also check out my other one, please. YouTube.com slash Relentless Creation. And even add me on Facebook. I'll add you. My name is Mike. Last name is E-A-S-H. Mike Eesh. Check me out. Alright guys, take care.